Anish and Ram for giving this opportunity. Hope you are able to see my presentation and I'm audible voice. Yes, yes, go ahead. Yes, okay, thank you. Okay, we'll start this presentation. Yeah, uh, first thing is like uh, today I'm trying to do something with LabVIEW and wireless communication. Uh, this is a simple project to demonstrate a LabVIEW, a controlled car. Okay, this project uses serial port and Wi-Fi communication. Why I'm using serial port is uh, every computer cannot have a uh, Wi-Fi, it cannot generate Wi-Fi hotspot since there is a requirement of router. So what I'm doing is like I'm sending a data via serial port to a device which can transmit data over Wi-Fi and uh, we use ESP32 to do the same thing. We have two ESP32s. Okay, we are proceeding fast. Uh, see, application is simple. It is a closed Wi-Fi network. Uh, no one cannot enter without knowing the user ID and password. And uh, it, we just need a Land Rover for it. Uh, I wish I could buy this for this, but since I couldn't afford this, um, I developed this one in my home. Uh, this is a, a Land Rover, which I developed. It has a few applications. It has four motors and one RGB LED control. Um, let's see how I can control these motors and uh, LED using LabVIEW. Okay. Next, how it is done? A very simple concept. One master, one slave. Master will have a computer uh, where uh, ESP32 master will be connected to a computer when communication is happening between serial port. Data from master computer is sent to ESP32 master, a Wi Fi device, and same data is passed to slave over the Wi Fi, where slave, will, slave uh, Wi Fi device will be connected to the master using hotspot. Uh, slave will receive data. Depending on the data, he do some actions like uh, some actuator's action, like moving a motor, glowing a light. Any action can be done, but important is data over the Wi Fi. Okay. Like we'll proceed faster. Uh, this is some useful data, like how it is done. Uh, believe me, LabVIEW is the easiest programming language to do any application or prototype. I use LabVIEW for anything. LabVIEW can be easily LabVIEW can easily access read or write the serial port. Okay, LabVIEW sends data over serial port to master, as explained before, and uh, master sends data to slave over LAN web address. Here we are creating a local web page using uh, ESP32 so that that e web page will be uh, something like channel to share data between computer and the car. Uh, like uh, slave usually controls the light and uh, motor helps to rotate the car. The disadvantage is like it is limited up to few meters like 100 meters maximum and it can be improved across the globe uh, like using cloud. But uh, due to accessing web page, sending data over serially, the data sending is slow in response. Maybe you need to bear with me for four seconds for each data to be transferred. Uh, coming back to effective communication, like uh, I, I thought like I'll say this, even though it is not a data car, uh, I have three stories to tell you. One story is three idiot story. It's like simply a road vehicle typically with four wheels, if you see, read the sentence, you may guess this is a car. But uh, instead of saying this, if I say like action speaks a lot of the noise, I'm like doing some steering control using hand, saying open the car, means people can easily predict that I'm saying about the car. But instead of all those things, if you directly show a car, then it is like loud and clear uh, in a simple things. So always try to prefer the maximum thing like give the best since LabVIEW is very good in GUI you can show actual things instead of giving some messages and some actions so if you want to convey effective communication be clear with clear images and best GUIs are self-explained if you see this GUI it has like so much explanation saying like URL to download start the grabbing uh, span allow accept reject but do you think this is the best GUI? Absolutely no. Right. Absolutely no. Uh, what is the best GUI is like best GUI which doesn't give any explanation about that. Like this. If you go to this page, even a three-year-old kid can access anything whatever he wants. That's how our GUI should look like. Simple and very friendly. Okay. Uh, this is about like uh, I felt uh, I should say about effective communication. Coming back to demo. This is what uh, like I plan to do today. Uh, I'm accessing my camera. Hope you're able to see my camera. 
is my camera is vision can you yes or no yes we can see you can see car right yes yeah like we'll go back to this is a gui which i prepared for this maybe like uh, i felt uh, the less in uh, less information uh, more into gui so i'll reset the devices so that we can start from first hope you are able to see my car uh, this car like i thought like i'll put this car in the live area so that you can see actions and all since i didn't had a battery like uh, i'm using an adapter so also like it is good to see near the camera so i kept if you see here i kept the car in open air hope you are able to see my car clearly right and even yes no yes so we will uh, we'll try to set the car up setting a data i am asked to lit light the light is glowing so if you ask like how it is happening is like are able to see my phone like i'm showing uh, yes. in front of camera yeah yes. if you see here there is a data address in the data i'm trying to send data and this is a web page whatever i do here like say click blue red the light in the storage and data appears here okay i see here you can see the data here let red this is a, this uh, is the communication method i'm using using wifi i'm sending the wifi data over a web page to a car so okay. whatever data i send the data is decoded back so i'll show example blue uh though we cannot see the browser clearly in your phone but yeah we can understand the concept yeah okay fine uh, now let's move to interesting part like moving a car this is something like i try to do i uh, tape the stickers here just to understand the motion how car does i can see the motion of the car yes this is like front motion i can if i want like i can stop the car stop this is for back maybe like if i want to take left left means one rotation will rotate back one will rotate forward okay, this left is not considered okay this has reset called one minute Can I just resetting again? This is left operation. If you see, one is going back, one is coming front. This is for left, and similarly for right. Times up. Ah, times up. Okay. Back to presentation. Sorry, I'm really sorry. This is like a simple try to show how can I communicate effectively with the lab view. Uh, uh back to presentation directly question slide show one last message uh, uh recently like in our office we have started exploring ni wireless devices next time when you plan to do something with dac try to go with wifi dac this is really awesome and it has wide range and low power I many it has many features okay maybe like many of you not known this like ni also provide wireless devices so kindly make use of ni wireless devices it really awesome it can be taken in i uh, think uh, messages we can proceed for next thank you